Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to our NIBS Home School. My dear students, hope you are all well by the grace of Almighty Allah. I am Shanti Rahman, Assistant Teacher of National Ideal English Version School, Teshit. Today I am going to take a science class for the student of class 7 and our today's class topic is chapter 1, Reading Done. This is our first YouTube class for the year 2022. Now let's start our class. The name of our chapter is lower organisms. Lower organisms means the small um, uh, organisms which we cannot see in our bare eyes. We use microscope to see this organism. They create various kinds of diseases uh, in human's body, animal's body and plant's body and also they are helpful in different ways. Now in this chapter we will discuss about this. Virus, bacteria, fungi, algae, amoeba etc. are called lower organism. So which are called lower organism? Virus, bacteria, fungi, algae, agaricus they are called lower organism. Among them virus, bacteria and amoeba are not visible without the help of a microscope. So if we want to see virus, bacteria and amoeba we need a microscope. So that's why they are called, these are microorganisms. Few fungi and algae can be seen with bare eyes but other need microscopic support. These lower organisms or microorganisms causes diseases of man, domestic animals, birds and plants. These organisms also have beneficial effect on environment. Then we discuss microbial work. We can see many organisms around us. Besides the organism, there are numerous invisible organisms which cannot be seen by bare eyes. That means we cannot see this organism with our bare eyes. We need to microscope. They do not have well organized cells with specific nucleus. These are known as microorganisms. We know that in a cell there are mitochondria nucleus, Golgi body, endoplasmic reticulum, cell uh, membrane, cytoplasm, its things are present in a cell. But in case of microorganism, their <coughs> cell is not well organized and they have not specific nucleus. That's why they are called microorganism. In early stages, life has been uh, initiated from these microorganisms. For this reason, microorganisms are termed as prokaryotic or primitive organism. Primitive means they are very ancient and prokaryotic means their cell is not properly organized and their nucleus is not properly um, uh, managed or uh, they are, have no specific nucleus. In class 6, you have seen five kingdom of classification of the living world proposed by Whittaker and Margulis. In our class 6, we know that Whittaker and Margulis propose five kingdom of animals. On this classification, microorganisms are placed under kingdom Monera, Protista and Fungi. At present, microbiologists classify the microbial world into three kingdoms. Whittaker and Margulis classify uh, the kingdoms in five kingdoms and now the microbiologists the, uh, classify the microbial world into three kingdoms. The name of the kingdoms are kingdom number one eukaryota, number two prokaryota and kingdom number three eukaryota. Now, we know about what is prokaryota, eukaryota and um, eukaryota. Kingdom number one, eukaryota or acellular. These organisms are so small that they cannot be seen even under a light microscope. An electric microscope is needed to see them such as virus. Electric microscope are different types. Some are simple microscope, some are very costly microscope that means they are electric microscope and they work with the help of electricity. These microscopes are very high range and this is very costly and it works with the help of uh, electro, uh, electricity and this microscope helps to identify very small things. That's why they are called acaryotic or acellular. 
kingdom number two prokaryota or primitive cells members of these things do not have well organized nucleus cell without organized nucleus is termed primitive cell such as bacteria that means the organelles which have not any organized nucleus they are in the prokaryota class kingdom and their um, um, examples are bacteria kingdom number three eukaryota or true cell so eukaryota microbes having true cells are called eukaryota algae fungi and protozoa are eukaryotic microbes what, is, what do you mean by true cells true cells means in their cell there are mitochondria nucleus cell membrane cytoplasm uh, and also um, Golgi body and other or cell organelles. So that's why in this uh, micrologist, um, uh, micrologist classify the micro world into three kingdoms a karyota that means their uh, cell is not properly organized then kingdom number two prokaryota they have not well organized nucleus and eukaryota they have the true uh, cells uh, that means their cells are uh, properly organized now lesson number three and four virus and bacteria virus rickettsia fungi bacteria algae and protozoa etc are present in our environment and innumerable in numbers innumerable means huge in number uncountable most of them are beneficial of course some of them are responsible for producing diseases in human body now we will know about few microorganisms number one virus virus cannot be seen without electronic microscope these are the simplest organism in virus cell wall plasma membrane organized nucleus cytoplasm um, etc are absent we know about that coronavirus covid 19 virus this uh, is one kind of virus so this virus has no proper organized cell wall plasma membrane organized nucleus cytoplasm etc these things are absent in virus so virus body is also called acellular they are composed of only protein coating and nucleic acid nucleic acid means dna and rna and dna means deoxyribonucleic acid and rna means ribonucleic acid they both of them are a protein things if nucleic acid gets out of the protein coating they lose all properties of life when the protein coating and nucleic acid are gathered in another organism they regain the properties of life that is they do not show any properties of life without living host or outside of the living host for that viruses are the true parasite here you can see the picture of a t2 fast virus we call it T2 fast virus. We see there, there is a protein coating outside of the virus, and inside of the virus there is DNA and collar, tail, tailor fiber. When this protein coating, that means DNA, and this protein coating separated from each other, they lose the life. They cannot spread uh, or they cannot. Uh, harmful they cannot do harm to other animals plants or other things but when they get the life properties again they uh, this DNA um, prepare protein coating inside outside of its body and this protein coating also create DNA inside of it and then it's create virus and is um, increased numerously Bacteriophage is a common virus among all viruses. The figure gives uh, in, I, the idea of the, their structure. Virus may be round, rod shaped and tadpole like or bread shaped. Virus causes fox, measles, snatching, influenza etc. in human body. Tumor of the rice and mosaic disease of the tobacco caused by virus, fox, measles, snatching and influenza etc. are airborne diseases. So virus causes different kinds of diseases to plants, animals and other uh, human beings and other animals. <coughs> now bacteria. We have learned about bacteria in the previous class. Now we need to have a broader look. Bacteria is a non-green unicellular microscopic organism with primitive nucleus. 
the scientist Antony von Leeuwen who found this for the first time. Bacteria cell may be rod shaped, rounded, comma shaped or spider. Bacteria can be classified according to their shape as follows. Here is the shape of, of some bacteria and bacteria have different uh, shape like coccus, bacillus, comma and spiram. Coccus, rounded shape bacteria cell are named as coccus. They remain single or in groups such as pneumonia causing bacteria. Here you see the coccus bacteria. See the picture of a coccus bacteria, bacillus. These are elongated rod shaped bacteria, tetanus, blood dysentery, etc. are caused by bacillus. So, bacillus caused uh, tetanus and blood dysentery, comma, uh, shaped like band rod such as bacteria causing human cholera. They are like our comma. Now, spirillum, spiral bacteria. Spirillum bacteria is a spiral bacteria. Now, usefulness of bacteria helps in the composition of dead bodies and organic waste. Only bacteria fixes nitrogen in the soil, helps in removing jute fibers used in preparing cards, preparation of the life saving antibiotics from the bacteria. Bacteria is the main basis of genetic engineering. Bacteria is used in some cases in order to identify the described characteristic of organism. It is also used in genetic change. So, bacteria is used in many cases and it is mainly uh, and most of the its important uses in genetic engineering. Now lesson number 5 and 6 algae, fungi and amoeba. Fungi. Fungi are non-green thallophytic plant. Non-green means it has no chlorophyll that is why it cannot produce its own food. It depends on other uh, plants, animals or other food for their own food. They cannot take part in photosynthesis because they do not have chlorophyll. So, they are heterophytic or saprophytic. Heterophytic means heterophytic fungi grow on a slate, rotten food, stuffs, fruits, vegetables, wet bread or leather, cow dung etc. And saprophytic means saprophytic fungi grows on dead organisms or soil full of humus. That means when fungi take its food from the rotten food stuffs, fruits, vegetables, uh, wheat, bread or leather, it is called saprophytic and uh, sorry heterophytic, it is called heterophytic and when the fungi collected uh, food from the dead bodies, it is called saprophytic. Economic importance of fungi. We get many valuable medicines including penicillin from the fungi, fungi named yeast are used for preparing bread. Uh, yeast are used in vitamin tablets as they are very rich in vitamins. Nowadays, a kind of mushroom named agaricus is used as a fancy food. At present, agaricus is cultivated in many countries including ours. Fungi have important role in purifying waste products and mix them with soil. We uh, take mushrooms as our food with soup and we use it for preparing bread, burger, uh, hot dog and other uh, dishes. Fungi are responsible for many diseases of man, animals, birds and plants, ringworm, inflammation of the trachea. Inflammation of trachea means burning in the uh, trachea or burning in the your throat or other uh, respiratory systems. And freckles are, uh, freckles are fungal diseases. Diseases like lead blight of potatoes, black blend diseases of the jute, red root of the sugar cane etc. are caused by fungal infection. They easily attack furniture made of wood, bamboo, cane, etc. and damage them enormously. Now, prevention of the fungal infection. How we prevent from the fungal infection? Fungal diseases are highly contagious. It means a person may get infected on coming into contact with an infected person. The following measures should be taken to be safe from this disease. Number one, avoid using things cloths, combs, caps, sandals of the infected persons. Number two, avoid mixing with diseased person. Number three, spraying fungs, uh, fungicides on infected plants or uprooting the bar and burn them. Now algae. Algae are chlorophyllous and autophytic plants on the order thallophyta. That means algae are in thallophyte group. They grow on soil 
water and on other plants. Besides green, red, brown etc. color algae are also uh, seen. The algae named Spirogyra grows in the most water bodies. We see uh, green shade in the abandoned pond or abandoned places where um, uh, water uh, stagnant for many days we see they are greenish things it is one kind of uh, algae and its name is spirogyra benefits of algae algae extracted from marine algae is used in preparing ice cream marine algae are also good source of iodine and potassium algae are used as food in fisheries now harmful role of algae Algae are responsible for causing various diseases of human and plants. Abundance of algae in water bodies create shortage of oxygen that may cause death of aquatic animal and fishes. When algae is um, short in number in ponds or other uh, water uh, spaces, then uh, plants and animals will be die because of the shortage of oxygen. Amoeba. Now, amoeba, a member of kingdom protista. Amoeba is a member in the kingdom of protista is a unicellular organism unicellular means it has only one cell it has only one cell unicellular means only one cell their body is very small they cannot be seen without a microscope they can change their body shape according to their necessity small finger like structure which is produced from their body is called pseudophoria with the help of these pseudophoria, amoeba takes food and moves from one place to another. The body bears some water vacuole, food vacuole and contractile vacuole. The body is surrounded by a thin transparent membrane and the name of this membrane is plasma lemma. Amoeba grows in water, wet soil, root and waste material, organic debris at the bottom of the pond, etc. Here you see the microscopic structure of amoeba. Amoeba is a unicellular organism that means it has only one cell. When it uh, creates a finger like structure in, from its body, we call it pseudophodia. This pseudophodia helps the amoeba to take food and also move from one place to another. You see there the amoeba body is covered with a transparent membrane and the name of this transparent membrane is plasma lemma. And inside of the amoeba we see food back well. This is called pseudophonia, plasma gel, plasma sol, nucleus, uh, ectoplasm, water vacuole, uh, contractile vacuole. Contractile vacuole means it uh, in, uh, one time is a though or it's a small and then it's expansion to and it's help to move his body from one place to another. So my dear student in our today's class we discuss half of the chapter one and your homework for the uh, first homework for 2022 is you will write at least 10 knowledge based question from uh, these pages you will create knowledge based question knowledge based question uh, 15 you will create 15 knowledge based question with answer and you will submit the homework on saturday till then keep well assalamu alaikum